What's up guys, what's up guys, and welcome back to The Crazy Brick. Today on The Crazy Brick, we got Quizzing Crazy episode number three. So, yeah guys, without further ado, we're just going to go ahead, I guess, jump right into it. And we'll start with the first question. I believe I picked about another ten questions to go over. So, yeah, we're going to just go ahead, jump right into it. Hopefully the audio is good. I'm, I keep changing mics back and forth. So, The Crazy Brick audio has not been consistent on some videos um, as you guys notice so if you notice so hopefully the audio is good this mic I was kind of worried that it's kind of broken because in some areas it'll go like so hopefully it doesn't do that but yeah let's go ahead and jump into the first question all right so from pug stop motions he said how did you find out about the minifig co oh wow I really actually don't know because I know that a lot of people found out about the minifig co from me like I know brick if it did mock motion did YT Brick builds dad. I know a lot a lot a lot of people found out from the Mayfay Co. for me. Um but I really don't know how I did that. Yeah. I don't know how I found it. Um yeah, scrolling down. Will you um for Banana Wizard says, will you make an Indiana Jones mock? Probably not. No. Probably not. Alright, moving on. RF Trooper X3.0 underscore productions. What is your favorite custom shop and what is the cheapest one in your opinion? My favorite custom shop is probably TMC or Brickmania. I don't know. TMC or Brickmania. And the cheaper, cheaper of them, obviously, is TMC, but their printing probably is better on some things. Yeah, probably TMC. All right, guys. Um, so that Mike and Ike Productions says, what do you like most about LEGO? Sorry, this is a very vague question. Um, I've selected it because I like LEGO. I don't know. That, that's a very vague answer, right? Um, what do you like most about LEGO? You can do whatever you want. You can build whatever you want. There's endless techniques you can find out. Or do stuff about. Um, Dara Porter says, What is your favorite Star Wars movie? Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. Number three. Yeah. <laughs> that is the best one. Um. Moving on, World War Brick says, "What what is your favorite World War II minifig from Brickmania?" My favorite one is my favorite one is it's a newer one to the collection too. Just at 200 views of the review, the World War II um, Marine Raider from Brickmania version two. I think this is awesome, awesome minifig. Actually, and the second question. Has actually already been answered. I had to grab it off the ground because I started setting up my American army. He said, will you do an army showcase video, World War II, Star Wars, etc. I am. So, World War II, we're going to start. We're, there'll probably be an army video a month, once a month. We'll do a different different army, obviously. Um, so, the first army that, I'm work, that I worked on setting up was my American one. I, it's only going to be printed soldiers and then the ve only and vehicles as well. All right, guys. Um, moving on, though. CB Warbrick says, "Are you go? Are you doing a Vietnam episode build like you're doing right now? It, w it would be cool. Also, I play hockey as well. Oh, that's awesome. He's been playing hockey since he was four. I play hockey too, as you know. Are you doing a Vietnam? I don't know about Vietnam. I only have two minifigs, and I really don't have anything else for it. So it'd be a very expensive, a very expensive build series. And I'm trying to stick to stuff that I have now. Eventually, when I get bigger, or when I, my YouTube channel gets bigger, I'll be able to do that. But yeah." Um, and then Grandmaster Yoda says, which program will you use for the stop motion? I think I'm going to be using, hopefully, Dragon Frame 4 um, will be one of them. It's a very expensive editing software, but I've been kind of saving up for it because I'm, I'm pretty good at stop motion. I'm going to actually upload a stop motion that I did about three years ago. I'll show you guys that one. Um, I haven't really, I, I've been practicing as well, so Dragon Frame 4 is probably what I'm going to be using, and then I think... I don't know how that works though with like the After Effects part, like because I think you have to buy the After Effects part after that. So then I'd probably upload it to Final Cut Pro and then I'd finish it off in there. So yeah, um, Dragon Frame Four, very expensive, but I want to save up because I, I want mine to be. I definitely want mine to be a professional step motion, not something just thrown together in a minute. So yeah, that's that's why I'm doing that. Obviously, um. That's it, guys, for Quizzing Crazy Episode 3. If you guys got a question for next week, there will be one next week. Um, leave it in the comments below.
And yeah, guys, that's about it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new. And yeah, guys, that's going to wrap this up. And we'll see you next time here on The Crazy Brick.